All right, welcome back, y'all. Hey, today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I had a subscriber reach out and wanna know how I build my carpenter bee traps. Uh, he's having a problem with them right now, and uh, hey, it just shows you. I read those comments and I answer those emails, and uh, if you wanna see something, something out of the ordinary, just email me or uh, message me, whatever you wanna do, text me, and uh, I try to do the best I can do to get it out there for you guys. So today, we're gonna to build a simple carpenter to bead trap, guys. I mean, it always takes a six inch piece of four by four, a scrap piece of wood, and a bottle. That is it, that's all you need. Trust me, I've been running one for six years back there. And uh, I'll show you a little clip in the video. Yeah, guys, they're not, uh, they're not harmful if you don't bother them, I mean, look. Sometimes they'll get real close to your hand. See if they come back. See them? Look at them. Just flew by my head. This is how quick it is. This is gonna be a short video, and I hope this helps you. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take a one inch bit, and we have a five eighths bit, and we're gonna start at the bottom, and we're gonna just put it in the center. And we're gonna go down about half inch, best we can judge a half inch. You don't need to measure it all. Guys, that right there is gonna be for the container, the water bottle. And I got water in this one right here because the wind's blowing real bad. And I got two cameras running. I don't know if the mic's picking up, so I hope the other camera sounds pretty good. But what we'll do is we'll take that water bottle, screw the lid off, and we'll shove it in there. I mean, it, there it is. And the water bottle is that full of water, guys, just to hold it so it don't blow around. Those bees are not going to weigh that much. But anyway, so what we're going to do is, we done drilled our, our one inch hole. We're going to take that bit out and we're going to take a five eighths bit. And we're going to run, we're going to run it on down, on down the hole. There it is. So right now, we got a one inch hole, about a half inch deep, and I buried that five eighths bit at least four inches in there. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill for the carpenter bee to go up in the hole, guys. So we're gonna take that five eighths bit, we're gonna go up about a one inch to one quarter an angle and then what we're gonna do is hold it an angle just like this right here. And you'll be able to tell when you hit it. You can tell how the, the trio grabbed. You can tell how it sounded different. But there you go, there's one hole done. So we got four sides. I've only been running one side for five or six years, guys. And sometimes I have to empty that bottle because it's full of carpenter bees. I got them pretty bad around here. But for the video's sake and for your sake, we're gonna put one on each, each side. There you go. Hole on each side, guys. Don't, it's not rocket scientists. It ain't perfect, but it works. So we got our, we got our trap made. 
now we're gonna hang it. We're gonna say a scrap piece of plywood or scrap piece of two before whatever you got laying around, and then we're gonna sink two little old wood screws in there. So we'll change our drills. We'll get the driver out and we'll take it and we'll just put two of them in there. I hope y'all can hear me, that wind's blowing pretty bad, but... There it is. There we go. Quick hanger. You take that up to your ceiling joist. You'll bump it there. The wall you're building, whatever you got. And you'll put two screws on the back side, guys. And there it is. You'll be hanging it like that with a water bottle. You get done. Take that water bottle. Well, I can dump the water right now. There it is. Trust me. Just like you've seen previous in the video. Guys, I got bees that deep in there right now. But uh, you can leave water in there if you want to. You want them to die quickly. But I usually don't put water in there. But that's it. Hey, simple. There's a lot of people on the YouTube videos right now, guys, showing you how to use mason jars and screw on lids and got to drill holes in the lids and all. You've seen this takes about two minutes at the most with just some scrap lumber laying around. Simple and easy. I mean, you don't have to paint it, you don't have to do nothing. And treated wood is no worse off than just untreated. I've got a piece of treated wood and it's been working great. So, hey, like I said, I do read them emails and I do read those uh, messages, guys. And uh, if you would, hey, send me something. I'll see what I can do to make a quick video. Maybe it'll help you. Maybe it's helped everybody out there. Keep them things from boring holes in there. And a fun fact, I bet you did not know this. Only carpenter bees, females, drill holes in your wood. Bore holes in your wood. That's right. And only female carpenter bees sting. Males don't sting. They don't have a sting. A lot of people didn't know that. Females, hey, what can I say? But get out there and build you a few guys. Like I said, scrap lumber. Start trapping them bees today. Till next time. Later.